Yes, we have found a cure for boldness. No, I'm just kidding. But there's some exciting news uh, from the University of Manchester about a potential drug they discovered to cure hair loss and boldness. Keep watching. So this is an article I read last week on Monday uh, from the University of Manchester, my old university, uh, about research they've done on a drug that they think can be a potential cure for hair loss and boldness. So this drug actually comes from a very old drug uh, that we've known and used for a long time, called a drug called cyclosporin. Now this drug is used for um, helping patients who've had uh, organ transplantation, um, uh, prevent rejection and it's a very toxic drug so even though we've known that it's good for um, preventing hair loss we've not been able to use it because it's just got too many side effects but now the scientists think they discovered a drug that works just as effectively if not more effectively than cyclosporin at preventing hair loss minus all the nasty side effects well we're not really sure but they think the side effects are not as bad and what they done was they took um, hair from 40 male patients so unfortunately this doesn't apply to women and they only tested it on men so they plucked the hair from 40 male patients who have um, I think either undergone hair transplant or were on their way to doing a hair transplant they took their hairs and they put it on a kind of a lab dish and they tested it so all these results are from the lab not on you know from actual people and they are very excited by the results they think that if this uh, drug gets developed all the way uh, it can be a potentially very good cure for hair loss and the way it works is it puts um, it knocks out one of the proteins that prevents hair growth so there's, there's there is um, this protein with a very long name i'm not going to bore you with it that acts as a break on hair growth and obviously if you knock out that protein then that means hair growth can uh, be prolonged or can carry on uh, which is obviously a good sign for anybody suffering with hair loss so question is should you be excited are you going to see this drug on the shelves uh, in pharmacies and supermarkets anytime soon to be honest no you shouldn't i'm not saying you shouldn't be excited i'm i'm saying you shouldn't be excited yet because number one this is a very small scale study 40 people um, that's that's nothing really in terms of science that's a very small study uh, 40 people the second reason is um, this was done just in the lab so no human this was not tested on any human being and what you find is the results you get from the lab and the results you get when you test a drug on an actual live human being are completely different so we don't know if the, the same results will come uh, will, you know will be obtained when we test it on a human being that's the second reason and the third reason is um, to develop a drug from the lab all the way to when it's on the shelf in a pharmacy that takes 10 to 15 years and it costs maybe 500 million maybe a billion so it's a massively long project so if, even if this drug gets developed without a hitch um, the earliest you're going to see it on the shelf I think would be 10 years so what is it now 2018 you're looking at 2028 it's a very long-term project it's a very long-term project I would say it's interesting rather than exciting um, maybe in five or six years time when this drug actually starts to be tested on people and it, it kind of gets through the stages uh, successfully then we can get excited but at the moment it's just interesting not exciting yeah, I hope you found this little bit of um, news stroke research um, bulleting useful if you liked it and you want me to do more of them um, every week just leave a comment below um, and um, i'll be happy to do it um, take care have a good uh, afternoon and see you soon take care